Hello, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the Megarox trial. So here's the thing. Oxygen is essential for life, and it's given to all patients on life support. Often these patients receive more oxygen than they need to make their body oxygen levels normal. Some research suggests that giving more oxygen than is needed to make the oxygen levels in the body normal may be harmful, while other research suggests that it's not, and it may even be beneficial. This study compares two ways of giving oxygen to patients on life support. The first is to give a little bit more oxygen, and the second is to give a little bit less. Both approaches are safe, but it's not clear which approach is the most effective. The best approach might depend on what's wrong with the patient. In the Megarox trial, we're looking at how much oxygen we give to patients who receive unplanned invasive mechanical ventilation in the intensive care unit. All patients can be allocated to either of the approaches being tested in the study. However, the study is designed so that as the chances that one approach is better for patients with particular problems increases, the number of new patients given oxygen using that approach also increases. In a sense, this means that every patient in this study benefits from the information gained from previous patients, and every patient's information can be used to help future patients receive the best treatment. To ensure that your patient benefits, it's important that they receive the treatment that they are assigned. So let's have a look at the treatments now. If your patient gets allocated to conservative oxygen, there will be a printout that looks like this. It's really important that you familiarize yourselves with it, but for now, let's have a look at the key points. The first and most important step is to set the upper limit SpO2 alarm on the monitor to sound at 95%. If the alarm sounds, turn the oxygen down immediately. This alarm should not be inactivated unless the patient is breathing 21% oxygen. You should use the lowest FiO2 that you can at all times. That means turning the oxygen down to 0.21 where possible. And if the patient's extubated, discontinuing oxygen therapy as soon as you can. If your patient gets allocated to liberal oxygen therapy, there will be a printout that looks like this. Again, it's important that you familiarize yourselves with it, but the key point is do not turn the FI2 below 0.3 while the patient is invasively mechanically ventilated. Really, the only other thing to note for the liberal oxygen therapy arm is that upper limit SpO2 um, alarms are not allowed. In both treatment groups, if the PaO2 is under 60 millimeters of mercury, the FiO2 can be increased irrespective of the SpO2 if this is con considered clinically necessary. So my name's Paul. I'm the Global Chief Investigator for the Megarox trial. This is my Twitter handle. This is my email address. Um, um, Paul.young at ccdhb.org.nz. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, please uh, don't hesitate to do so. I'd be happy to hear from you. Welcome to the Megarox trial. Thank you very much for listening.